Monday, the 14th day of uh, October 2019. You know, today is the uh, official Columbus Day, uh, you know, the, the holiday. But Columbus Day is really, was really a bit on a Saturday this week, this past weekend, to be uh, absolutely was it uh, chronologically correct. The so, and of course uh, this past weekend I attended the uh, big uh, harvest supper at uh, First Parish Congregational uh, the Church of Christ which I belong to. You know, that, uh, you know, that was a uh, big social event. You know, that, of course, it was a uh, full turkey dinner with all the fixings. You know, which was nice. Then yesterday, I took and, uh, of course, was uh, taken to church. Then of course was it I've all I also was it played my guitar was it for the uh, gathering worshippers as usual you know at church yesterday uh, morning then in the afternoon yesterday I had a uh, really uh, nice very long nap you know was it. Uh, catch up on sleeping and yes I'm still trying to get over the stupid with the uh, cold virus and it's primarily that my uh, sinuses are still blocked up a bit as I said I always get uh, colds at this time of year you know, in the, uh, in the, well, in the autumn when they have the changing of seasons. And, uh, you know, this past Saturday, you know, is it, uh, there was a, uh, there was a shooting at the DeWingy Pentecostal Ministries Church. Well, uh, Two towns south uh, west of was it, where I live here. You know, was it? And uh, well, one of the victims was uh, the uh, Reverend uh, Bishop Doctor Stanley Choate. You know, he took a, a bullet to the chest. You know, was it? And they he was officiating at a wedding. And the the bride also took a bullet. You know that uh, Bishop Choate is in uh, serious still is, is in serious to critical condition. And if he dies, you know, in the hospital down at Tufts New England Medical Center, you know that the charges against the uh, perpetrator are going to be upped to uh, first degree murder and he'll be, of course, the, the perpetrator is going to be arraigned tomorrow in, uh, in court. So, uh, and it's interesting that, uh, to note that, uh, You know, as a, a former member of the uh, First Congregational United Church of Christ in Pelham, New Hampshire, you know, across town from the uh, New England Pentecostal Church, you know, that, you know, was it, uh, used to participate in, was it, uh, the uh, yearly uh, ecumenical Thanksgiving worship service, you know, before Thanksgiving.
in November, well, every November, and it rotates between being held at uh, St. Patrick's First Congregational uh, Church of Christ in Pelham and uh, the New England Pentecostal Ministries Church. And the last time was it that I was uh, at their communicable worship service at the New England Pentecostal Ministries Church with it uh, several years ago. I did happen to take and uh, you know, with it meet and talk to who the uh, and was it greet the uh, the uh, perpetrator of this past uh, Saturday's uh, shooting there at the uh, New England Pentecostal Ministries Church. You know, at the uh, well, at the was it the uh, fellowship hour after the uh, ecumenical worship service was it several years ago? And who would have thought that the uh, younger was it uh, adult would have was it uh, this younger adult would have was it uh, perpetrated this? But the younger adult who did this was it. Uh, African American adult who did this was it Saturday morning is the uh, stepson of was it the, one of the associate pastors of the New England Pentecostal Ministries Church? You know, was it uh, whose uh, stepfather? You know, who was the associate pastor at the church with it, uh, got uh, shot and killed in uh, Londonderry, New Hampshire, which is the next town over from where I live here in Derry, about a couple weeks ago. <coughs> so what was this young, young younger adult man in his was like 37 years old thinking you know, was it was it getting a gun and was it uh, wanting to take and uh, shoot the father of the guy who blew away his uh, who uh, blew away his stepdad you know it makes no sense whatsoever so you can see where I'm coming from you know, it's totally illogical. It makes no sense whatsoever. But it's just simply uh, something that happened this past Saturday. And of course, you know, was it? I personally know was it uh, Reverend Bishop Doctor uh, Stanley Choate, the uh, senior pastor of the. Uh, Ringling Pentecostal Ministries Church. And yes, I'm praying for him to recover and uh, not die. You know, is it because... Because you know, he somehow was it... Uh, you know, the pastor was it got uh, just simply uh, caught up in... Uh, caught up in this was a uh, tangled uh, web of uh, relationships and uh, prior was it uh, prior circumstances well anyways today is a uh, nice sunny day almost cloudless you know that and it's one of the few days left when I could be out here on my uh, deck in the front of my uh, front of my house, you know, with adjusted shirt sleeves. And I know I've got to take and start uh, raking uh, fallen leaves, but I'm gonna wait till most of the uh, most of the uh, leaves have fallen off my oak trees here in front and the uh, 
oak tree at the back of my uh, at the uh, back of my uh, manufactured home here in Derry. That way I'll be able to get the whole job done all at once, you know, and not do it uh, piecemeal. And of course, my younger brother Nate is out at a uh, doctor's appointment. Last night he was down at uh, our uh, cousin uh, Linda's uh, place down in uh, Wenham, Massachusetts, helping her and uh, helping her to take care of our elderly cousin uh, uh, Jeanette, who's uh, 90 years old and. Uh, pretty frail, and, uh, yeah, they're doing okay, you know, but it's, you know, it's very difficult, you know, when you, well, when you're is it, in your 50s, and, uh, my cousin, uh, Linda's, uh, Linda's 53, and she's, uh, you know, with it, has her own health problems, as she's trying to take care of mom, take care of her mom, and uh, you know, getting some help, a little bit of help from her older sister with it. But her older sister's got her own health problems, and of course, with it, relationship issues with with her husband. You know, my my uh, cousin Marjorie. Uh, uh, and uh, the, well, her husband. Well, anyways, I'll sign off.